Welcome everybody to my latest video. Uh, for this video I thought I would uh, show my progress as I decided to convert my CPS2 cabinet into a Namco cabinet. Uh, basically this is a Konami Domai Junior cab. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. It's D-O-M-Y. Now the reason it's called a Junior cabinet is, well, take a look at this. This is actually my Jalico Pony Mark IV. And it's this, pretty much the basic size of your Japanese candy cabs. Now if you look at my Konami, you'll see it's smaller in height, depth, and width. Well, got this off of a, a seller from eBay. Actually I bid on it and I was outbid. About two to three weeks later, the seller contacts me and tells me that the winner of the auction decided he didn't want it. So he wanted to know if I was interested, which I was. The guy was local, drove down to his house about five minutes away, picked it up, cost me $200. Now, that's a really good deal. It works perfectly. I recently had a cap kit done. The previous owner installed the joysticks, the buttons, as well as uh, installed his own CPS2 kick harness. Now, Basically, I originally got this because, well, I have a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I have some CPS2 game boards and some other various JAMA boards. You can see them right over here. Uh, my other, one of my other videos explains which boards I have. But, on my Jellico cab over here, I primarily play Street Fighter Alpha 3. So, rather than only having one cabinet and having to constantly switch out the boards, since I only play Alpha 3 on this one, I decided I wanted an additional cabinet that I could use for pretty much any CPS2 game or JAMA game, whatever. Well, I decided I really don't play my other CPS2 games that much. And it's kind of ironic because I actually paid for them to be Phoenixed. I had to send them to Denmark. But basically I decided I want to play games like Tekken and Soul Calibur, so I want to convert this into a Namco cab so I can play Tekken, Soul Calibur, etc, etc, etc. But before I do that, I thought I'd just show you guys basically what this cabinet consists of. As I already explained to you, it is a smaller uh, Japanese candy cab. Uh, let's take a look at the wiring. Previous owner did all this, kind of a little rat's nest, not as nice as I would like it to be. But like I said, I was additionally, originally using this for my other CPS2 game boards. And I'll take a look down here. This is the inside. Uh, kind of uh, wires everywhere, but they're out of the way. Now, there you can see is my A and B board. And what I did is, well, basically, as I'm sure you know, your standard PCB board gets screwed onto this. CPS2 game boards you need the A and B board and those things can get pretty heavy and as you can see this board right here really wasn't that thick so I installed some additional wooding uh, 2x4s here and down there and that way I can assemble the A and B board to actually this much space instead of only this much space and it worked out pretty good as you can see there is a JAMA harness, my kick harness is down there actually. I installed some straps to keep the boards together. But, fortunately I don't read the Japanese so I have no idea what that says. Came with a working coin mechanism, runs off uh, 100 yen coins, which I do have. Problem is, I don't have the key for this lock. So, it means I would have to drill it out, and I really don't want to do that. However, this lock wasn't here, and the covering for right here, um, I have that, it's not with me at this particular moment, but luckily that didn't have a lock on it, so I just replaced those with just cam locks, nothing fancy. But basically, here's, it, here's what it looks like before I'm going to convert it. Uh, let me just stock the camera here and I'll show you what it looks like with the monitor with the covering uh, hiked up. 
So give me a minute. Okay, welcome back. Here's what it looks like. And there's the monitor cover hiked up. It actually goes up really high. Almost like a 90 degree angle there. Thing is, it only comes with one um, holder or whatever you want to call it. It almost seems like another one should be over here. Uh, I asked the previous owner if he removed it and he said that's the way he got it. So, I just went with it. Here's the marquee. It's just Here's a picture I found on the internet. Just decided to print it up on some regular paper, laminate it, and I guess this board right here, this like blue plexi, was where you were originally supposed to put the marquee or something. I don't know. But it just slides in here. It's actually a little bit smaller than it should be. As you can see, it right there kind of holds it in place. But anyways, because I'm going to convert it into a Namco cab, that's going to be removed. So here's the monitor. Very nice. Like I said, a recent cap kit done. You can see the colors. Really nice and bright. Uh, once again, there's with the control panel opened. There's the coin slot. So basically, here it is. And I'm going to be converting it into an Amco cab. I actually got a Tekken 3 board coming in the mail. So when that arrives, I'll take a quick video of that and show you, you know, for anybody who's interested. But there it is. So I'm going to stop the camera now and get to work. Thank you.